Today I'm going to show you five easy tricks to make text look awesome. Hello my friends and let's get started. So the first one is really easy. We're just going to take our rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over all of the text like this. And then I will just put our text layer in the front, select both of the layer, text layer and rectangle layer and go down to our arrange tool. And there I'm going to center it horizontally and vertically so it's in the middle. Click OK. Next thing we want to do is select just our text layer and set the blend mode to erase. And then I'm going to pull our text layer onto the rectangle layer so it's inside like this. And you can see this makes a beautiful cutout of our text. So we have a negative space inside of our white rectangle. And of course you can change the rectangle to any color you want. Okay, so that was the first trick. Let's go to the second trick. I'm going to delete our rectangle and I'm going to set back the layer to normal. So there we have it. And the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to click on effects with our text layer selected and we will select outline down here. I'm going to set it to white in this case and we can set any radius you want. And you can see we get a really nice line around our text but this is not the end of the trick. What we want to do is to set our fill opacity because the fill opacity will just reduce the opacity of the inside but not of the effect of the line effect. You can see if I reduce this to zero we have a really cool line effect around our text and like I said you can set this line to any kind of thickness you want. So that looks pretty nice and you can combine it with other effects of course if you want. So let's go to the next trick and this trick is answering the question what if I want to have a dashed line instead of a complete line like this. So let's go back to our layer. I will disable the effect and the next thing that we need to do, oh we have to set our fill opacity back to 100. There we go, our, back, uh, our text is back. Um, the next thing you want to do is to right click on the layer and then convert it to curves because this will convert it into vector shapes. But be sure that you know that you can't change the text afterwards. So either make a duplicate of your text layer and just convert one of the layers or um, well be really sure you don't need to change the text. So let's convert this and you will see now you have a group and inside of the group you have vector shapes for each of the layers. And what this does for us is now I can go up here and I have the same settings as for vector shapes. Whoops, that was my phone, sorry. So what we can do here, we set it to dashed line and it already has a color black. Maybe we set it to color white, I think that's better. And um, you can see with the line thickness, I can set any kind of line thickness I want. And the strange thing here up, it says it has no fill color, but still it's black. So you have to reset the fill color so it actually takes effect. So set this to none. And now you can see we have a very nice outline that is dashed. Um, you have to look here, it sometimes makes kind of glitchy effects on the corner. So it's not perfect. Rather keep the line thin, but it looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty cool. So that's a very nice effect to have. And another thing to know about this is when you have this dashed line down here, you have like a Morse code. It gives you the look of the dashed line. So if you set this to one, two and one, you can see that the look actually changes from the gaps that it has between the lines. So you can experiment with this, try out different kind of looks. You can see this gives different results. So it's really kind of a nice way to experiment this and find out some interesting designs. Okay, let's go to our next effect. Um, I should actually have copied the text because now I'm going to delete it and make a new one. Uh, there we go. Let's write nature again. Nature. Okay. So the next one is also very easy and looks pretty impressive. And that is we just gonna duplicate our text layer. There we go. Duplicate it and then go up here to arrange and say flip vertically. So it's upside down. And then I would just move it down here. So it's sticking uh, to our text. Move it up one more uh, with your 
how you say error cursors on your keyboard so it's really sticking um, to our original original text the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a mask layer and pull it down onto our inverted text layer there we go and now take your brush in a pretty big size here i have 468 pixels you have to play around what works good for you set the hardness to pretty soft here you have 14 percent and then set the color to black there we go and you can just uh, like brush over this once or twice or you can reduce your opacity to give you more chances to brush over this let's brush over this once and twice there we go and now we can reduce the opacity of our text layer a little bit and you can see that this gives a very nice reflection effect so this is really kind of a fancy and very easy thing to do and it looks pretty cool oh. so let's go to the next effect and that is how to put text behind objects so i have a very nice um let's delete this real quick here very nice picture of this lady here standing in the water I will reduce my text uh, to just say sun um, because I just want to show you how it's done. You can do it with much more fiddly text if you want with a lot more um, letters in it. So let's put it like this. I will change um, the font color maybe to white. There we go. Uh, let's see. And this again is a pretty easy effect. So we just have it down here. Um, on the legs you see i'm gonna make it easy for me because i just want to show you how it's done and not waste too much of your time on actually doing it so you know how to do it now uh, so you go down here again you take your brush uh, make it of course a smaller size than before set the hardness pretty high but not 100 percent so maybe i don't know 85 percent you can experiment with what looks good to you and I would um, reduce the text opacity a little bit so you can see um, the shape that you want to mask out behind that. And then remember to click back on the mask layer, set the color to black and I'll just go here and paint this and this. And then you can go into more detail um, to make the actual edges. You can, of course, also use the lasso tool um, if you're not like to make it a little bit easier for you uh, this is also of course a good way to do it let's make the brush a little smaller uh, there we go going to the edges maybe i make my brush a little bit softer actually there we go okay so this is one side let's do the other side you can see it's a really quick effect and it looks pretty impressive once you see it in big uh, when we zoom out again there we go okay that should be good enough let's zoom out again and let's bring back our font to 100 percent you can see that the font is behind the lady and of course you can do it on much more complicated areas like the arms uh, up here and the hair and stuff like that uh, with your eraser brush or with your uh, masking brush to make a mask first and then brush it out so it's a different kind of options but actually what it is it's just a mask that is hiding the font in the areas where it goes behind the objects that you want to have it behind so this is a very easy and nice looking effect and these were the five effects for today for our tutorial thank you very much for watching um, if you like my channel i do two tutorials per week if you want to support me even more head over to patreon where you get my original files with all the layers feedback on your work and we can talk about problems that you have in the software so thank you and see you next time bye